The Queen made the trip to the country, as well. After the Duchess of Sussex made a flurry of appearances in early March that culminated with Commonwealth Day events, reports emerged that we had seen the last of Meghan Markle until after she gives birth to her first child later this spring. And yet, we barely had to wait a few days before she appeared again this past weekend for the christening of Lena Tyndall, daughter of Zara and Mike Tyndall. Zara, daughter of Princess Anne, is Prince Harry's first cousin. It was also announced that Harry was named as one of Lena's godparents at the service, held at St. Nicholas Church in Sherrington, Gloucestershire. These sorts of formal royal occasions are, of course, not infrequent, but this one had an unexpected number of interesting little nuggets. For one thing, Meghan's appearance, of course, generated much excitement. She wore a blue beret giving off a bit of a Parisian vibe and a vintage burgundy Dior coat, with some oversized buttons. The Queen also attended the service, which, in and of itself, was sort of notable, in that she skipped the christening for Prince Louis, Prince William, and Kate Middleton's third child, last year. The Queen also was photographed holding her own umbrella as she left the church, which seems like the sort of image that is just asking to be made into a meme of some kind. Prince Philip was not in attendance. Also intriguing, the christening was not attended by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, who made their annual ST. Patrick's Day appearance in West London with the Irish Guards for a ceremony on Sunday. William is a godparent to the Tyndall's oldest daughter, Mia, who is five now. It would seem even those who live in the area around the church were not anticipating the high-profile christening in advance. An onlooker told the Daily Mail it was a surprisingly low-key event, and a parish councillor said she had no clue the royals were going to be descending, after she attended a morning service, the vicar didn't say anything about it. When it comes to maternity wear, Meghan Markle is taking stylish cues from the past and top tips from her pals. Wearing a vintage 1960s coat by the former Dior designer, Mark Bohan to attend the christening of Zara Tyndall's daughter Lena Tyndall in Gloucestershire on Sunday, Meghan, who was eight months pregnant, drew Jackie O. Comparisons In brown silk, the couture coat featured a high neck, three-quarter length sleeves and oversized jeweled buttons. Purchased from the London boutique William Vintage this link opens in a new tab, which has a store in London's Marylebone and sells online, Farfetch. Comfy's link opens in a new tab and once Comfy's link opens in a new tab, the look has been compared to a similar outfit worn by a then-pregnant Jackie Kennedy back in 1960, when she was expecting John F. Kennedy Jr. Although the fabric is different, the shape of the coat is strikingly similar. It's not the first time that Meghan's style has been compared to the former First Lady. On Wednesday, the pregnant royal wore a cream pillbox hat Kennedy's favorite hat style to accessorize an outfit by British designer. Victoria Beckham while attending a Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey, alongside her husband Prince Harry and amongst other royals, Queen Elizabeth. Typically avoiding maternity wear, the royal mom to be has relied mostly on clever styling of non-maternity wear, custom-made pieces by her go-to designers such as Givenchy and most recently, a handful of pieces from William Vintage. All three vintage pieces are from the 1960s, and era famous for its the trapeze style silhouette perfect for the latter stages of pregnancy. Last month, Meghan wore a 1960s cashmere coat from an unknown designer for an official visit to Bristol. More recently she chose a courageous haute couture black trapeze coat in made last silk, circa 1965 for her baby shower in New York. Both pieces were sourced by William Vintage, a treasure trove of high-end vintage pieces dating from the 1920s and a red carpet favorite of Julianne Moore, Gillian Anderson, and Meghan's close friend Amal Clooney. If Clooney did recommend the store to her friend, there could be no bigger fan. Clooney has been wearing the unique vintage pieces from the boutique ever since 2015 and turned to William Vintage herself during her pregnancy with twins Ella and Alexander. Just last week, the human rights lawyer wore a decade-old white Grecian dress from the store to attend an event at Buckingham Palace with her husband George Clooney.